thanks for tuning in to this uh, Luciferian video. Um, I'm going to discuss uh, really and very simply the basis of morality and ethics within Luciferianism. Uh, let's go to the Bible, the adversary, and the Luciferian laws. Number one, all power comes from within. Bow to no other spirit or flesh self-described. It, it, the Luciferian must focus the temple of self, which is mind, body, and spirit, prior to any other uh, spiritual associations. It must start within. Uh, the Luciferian must view his or her mind as a center of will, which every decision made is essential to initiation and how the world will be affected by them. The cunning mind must calculate every situation. Often mere strength is not enough to master a challenge. Thinking is a direct result of the Luciferian mind. It must be in accordance with will, with a focus towards power. The will as a result of the Luciferian is a balanced perceived aspect of both instinct and higher thought. Um, Number four, for every outcome in each situation, the Luciferian must calculate how their thoughts, words, and actions will lead them to a specific outcome. Uh, number five, the primary symbol of the Luciferian has always been the serpent, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, number six, always understand the, that intentions should not be made known at all times. You have to act in society, normal, everyday things. Um, with a bigger plan uh, than just what you're doing today. Uh, you should establish some goals, long-term goals, and then act towards those. A lot of the magic in Luciferianism concerning everyday mundane things is about the application of thought via will. And in exercising that and knowing that the laws of Belial or the laws of the earth is that you have to work within reason and logic. So utilizing a thinking mind and being calculated in how you apply it is paramount. Number seven, people don't act just good, uh, just and good wholeheartedly because people are inherently selfish and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, one of the moralistic uh, concepts in Luciferian uh, uh, religion or ideology even, is that you must um, it's fine to help others if the others you are helping can in turn help themselves if you fall into a situation where you know this person's going to do the same thing and you do it and you give them whatever and then they screw you over again well that's not really even their fault it's your fault for being idiotic enough to accept that uh, and not recognizing patterns um, and that even a uh, let's say the, a Mormon or a Jehovah's Witness is indeed acting self in a selfish way for instance say you're out riding your bike you're knocking on doors handing out flyers why are you doing that? well obviously to bring people into the quote world word of Jesus, but more in interestingly, it's that they want their name to be, and, and their being to be recognized by their deity and honored therein, win them a place in their concept of heaven. Every deed is selfish. But um, with that said, Luciferian should do and calculate and, and understand through family, it should be applied to where, you know, uh, you want to benefit, but family and loved ones, you want to assist them too. It's a uh, pretty, uh, you know, much a gray area as far as that's concerned. Number eight, understanding light and the nature of creation is essential upon the Luciferian path. Light is wisdom, knowledge, uh, that type, and the light is not up in a heaven, it's within. Number nine, the Luciferian should nurture his or her own, her own ego. 
uh, yet be able to learn and develop continually. Um, don't overestimate yourself. Don't brag so much uh, to your accomplishments. Let them speak for you. Um, and be reserved because, uh, you know, a, a lot of times if you were being sized up for something, you don't want to uh, expose all of your strengths or weaknesses. Ten, magic and sorcery are tools of expanding influence, knowledge, and power. Rejoice in the hidden art, become an ascend through it. That's the process of magic and applying magic in a self creative sense and a sorcery context. Be cautious in forgiving enemies. They will often stab you deeper if you let them too close. Uh, Twelve, being kind to others should not be the desire to have another good deed done. If you're going to be kind, do it without regard for return. If you make an enemy, um, be ruthless. Um, Follow your laws, whatever that is, but, you know, don't feel pity, compassion, or otherwise. We have to act in terms of the ancient uh, predatory instinct of survival of the fittest, and, of course, showing favor to those we love and care about. This is the basis of Luciferian ethics, morals, and in the future I'll go much deeper into that, but this should give everyone, as an ideology sense, a foundation in Luciferianism. The last thing I'll say is that uh, in Luciferianism, you should have some core, key, uh, what I'd call morals in place. And, um, and those are things you would not do because, you know, you, you think they're disgusting or you, you've had it done to you and you don't want to ever see that again. Um, having those things that you are strict and unwavering upon those moral things, even if it's to increase your job or whatever, never ever as a Luciferian should you break those. Because it's part of what makes you who you are in your knowledge of the, the world. Be willing to test and go beyond the limits in the sinister path. But once you discover those key things that you believe that, that are a comfort and strength to you. Keep those. Thank you.